Uh, back out in the shop, as you can see, uh, this pile of lumber here, I'm gonna turn into queen size bump beds. So uh, she wants queen size bump beds back in that back room. She's gonna turn that into a bedroom that, uh, it's gonna be tight in there, but she, that's what she wants. She wants queen size. Uh, they didn't have all my two by eights that I need for the actual bed frame that the slats will rest on and everything. So uh, I'll have to go back and get those. So I'm gonna at least get this lumber broke down tonight. If I had the screws, I may start putting them together. But anyway, let me get everything set up and I'll get started. Got the bump beds drawn out on SketchUp. I said this before, but I really like building stuff in SketchUp. It helps me plan. So uh, these are gonna be real simple. Uh, we're gonna have a ladder around over on this side. So this is the floor, this is the ceiling. The ceiling's really low back there in that room. So I uh, got this guy standing here, kind of representing somebody, he's 6'2", so. Uh, it's gonna be tight. Like I say, I think there's, she could put bunk beds in, in a better room, but this is where she wants them, so. Usually this would be about a foot off the ground, but if I did that, then it would be, it would make the top bunk way too high. So, that's what we're looking at. Okay, so I pretty much always cut my longest boards first. So the first one they got is these posts right here. They're, they are 73 and a quarter. So I was wrong about that. I thought my legs were the longest, but Actually, the actually this rail is the longest, and it is eighty inches. So, so I just need two of those. So I'll cut those real quick. Okay, so my next longest one is going to be these short rails, and they're at fifty-seven. Dead on fifty-seven. One, two, three, four, five, five of those. This is a two by four right here that the slats rest on. Those are 73, so I'll go ahead and cut those. Okay, so I got the slat supports. We've got these rails, these rails. Okay, so I can start cutting some of these blocks right here. First. Those are gonna be 30 inches. That's my wife telling me supper's ready, so I'm gonna go eat and get back to it. All right, check you later. Okay, uh, we're back. Okay, so I just cut these just middle pieces here these 30 inch support pieces and then I'm gonna cut these short ones right here I'm gonna cut these short ones right here there's four of those uh, and then I'm not gonna cut the rest of these top ones just in case I decide I want to move this around so so I'll cut that and then kind of mark everything out see where it's gonna go and uh, see if I'm gonna like it so I'll cut those real quick and then I'll be right back. So those are four and three quarters. So obviously I can't put my stop block at four and three quarters. So I've got this board here that's 20 inches long. So I'll put it in there. And I'll put my stop block at 24 and three quarters. So now I'll put this here. Put my piece up to there and I'll get a piece of four and three quarters.
I'm gonna go ahead and cut my two banks. That way I can actually build all this in. I'm gonna go ahead and cut two of these two banks. So they are 80. I'll go ahead and cut for all four of them because that, that dimension is not gonna change no matter what. So I'm gonna cut all four of them at 80. And cut these these are so these are 57 inches so I need four of them at 57 inches I'm just tacking these together right now. Uh, I'm gonna come back later and put some better screws in here. I'm gonna put this bottom brace on. Y'all see what I did? One bump bed in frame. So I think I like the way this turned out. So it goes together pretty quickly. It'll go together even faster now. So I will, I think I'm gonna go ahead and build the other end. All right, well, there you go. I got two identical in frames. I'm missing, missing the two by eight. Like I said, they didn't have enough for me tonight, so they had some sitting up in the rack. I didn't feel like getting somebody with a forklift to get them down, so I honestly didn't even plan on getting this far tonight. I was just going to get everything cut, but <clears throat> so hopefully, hopefully they'll have one tomorrow. I can pick that up. I actually need three more. I need one more for that, and I need the two top uh, rails, so... Okay, well, I don't have enough two by eights to finish this, but obviously, you see what I got. So there'll be another two by eight here and here and there. So I got to pick up three more, and then really I can have this thing built. This is going together way faster than I thought it would. This is really a really simple design I came up with. I, the main thing was I wanted it to be simple. Cost effective, I don't like the word cheap, but cost effective and easy to put together. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna call it a night there. We got some storms moving in and I'm turning my yard into a mud hole right now, trying to get back to my shop. They're supposed to be putting in a driveway. We're supposed to do it this week. 
we couldn't really do it over the winter so i've been having to back through my grass and it's just made a mess of my yard so and the way it is right now it's a good possibility i could get stuck trying to get out of here so i'm gonna get my trailer moved out before these storms roll in and hopefully they'll have my driveway in next week so anyway i will pick this one back up when i start putting the rest of it together like i said hopefully they'll have my two base tomorrow um again i said this on the cabinet videos and i'm just saying it again any stuff like this that i do this is not a how-to i'm not doing how-to's this is me discovering how to i'm not charging her for this she's paying for the material and i'm not charging for the labor because i've never done this before and i did not feel right charging for the labor i said let me build this one see how it goes if you like it i'll charge you for the next one and it's easy i mean most stuff is if you just think about it and do some planning stuff it's usually actually pretty easy so anyway i'll catch you back up on this one i got to pull the whole thing back apart or at least i got to go through and replace all these drywall screws with some actual structural screws so i'll do that probably tomorrow just depending on how the day goes tomorrow but uh anyway that's part one of this bump bed videos i'll catch you up on this one when i get back to it thanks for watching wait man why are you always such a dork man <laughs>